Rumors claim that there is actually a more powerful Samsung Galaxy S8 in the works. Microsoft is reportedly working on competing against Chromebooks as well. And Nextbit just took a sharp turn into another company's dominion. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, this t-shirt doesn't actually do justice to the amount of caffeine I need right now. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today have to do with deals. The Huawei Honor 8 continues to be one of our favorite. Uh, we can't even call that thing a budget phone. It is a really good device. And if you're in the market, it, it's currently at B&H for $290. If you go for the 32 gig variant, 340 if you go for the 64 gig variant, and there are actually gifts there. That is a crazy amount of deal that I would highly consider. Now let's move the spotlight over to Windows 10 as, uh, well, the company, you know, Microsoft has made an amazing job with this operating system, but it seems that the company wants to revive Windows RT to a certain degree. Instead of doing a terrible version of Windows, like it did with RT, it seems that it wants to do Windows 10 Cloud. And uh, if you're asking yourself why, think about the possibility of a competition for Chromebooks. You know, Microsoft wants to cover everything and that is actually not a bad idea. Now let's talk about Fitbit. If you were unhappy with the company acquiring Pebble and acquiring all other companies this holiday season, well, it seems that its employees are unhappy as well because as of today, the company has let go of 110 employees because of its bad results during the holiday season. Apparently the company did not meet its goals. And I hate the fact that what companies like this do is let go of employees instead of letting go of the managers that did not achieve the goals. You know, the high level people. But anyways, that's the way it goes. Now let's talk about Nextbit since we're covering bad news. I don't even know if I should call this bad news, but uh, Nextbit has just been acquired by Razer, meaning that we should expect the smartphone division from Razer, which is great. But for me, it's really sad because I really do commend Nextbit for bringing us one of the most compelling smartphones of last year. Sure, the hardware wasn't great when it came to specs. I love the design. I love the approach to software, but it seemed it's what just wasn't enough. So anyways, really sad for this, at least me. Hopefully we will see something great coming from both companies soon. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with Samsung and the Galaxy S8. A couple of days ago, we covered the fact that I was extremely disappointed with four gigs of RAM on a Galaxy S8, mainly because the Galaxy S7 currently performs terribly after so many software updates. Nothing compared to when the smartphone launched, up to the point where I actually don't use it anymore because of that. But uh, it seems that apparently there is a six gigabyte variant. Apparently there will be a six gig, 128 gig variant available in the market. You know, the problem is that reportedly it's only going to be launching in China and Korea. And I really hate that. Why is it that the dual SIM variants don't launch in the United States as other companies are currently doing like Huawei? It leads me to the question of the day. Would you be willing to buy the 6 gig, 128 gig variant of the Galaxy S8 in the United States or Europe or in your region? And how much would you be willing to pay? In my case, I would be willing to pay the current cost of the Galaxy S7. After the whole debacle, I think that it's the least that Samsung can do. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video was filmed, follow us at pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.